guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. So I've always been commented on how fast I type. So for this video, although it's a bit random, I'm going to share some tips on how to become a fast typist, but do keep in mind that this is what works for me. The first thing that made the biggest difference for me was to stop relying on my pinky finger to type. When I learned how to type, it was really strongly emphasized that I should use my pinky to hit outer keys on either side like A or Q, but in my experience, pinkies are rather weak and have a limited range of motion compared to other fingers, which makes reaching for certain keys feel kind of awkward. So I replaced this with my ring finger and it makes hitting keys so much easier. Now I only use my pinky finger for the occasional shift or caps lock, maybe the A occasionally, but other than that, I never use it for typing. Note the position of my hand when typing and which keys they hit. I also very rarely use my right pinky for anything. My right thumb is always kept on the space bar and my left thumb doesn't do anything. So with those out of the picture, I really only type with seven fingers. Another important tip to do with the fingers is to keep your nails short. No matter what keyboard you're typing on, you might notice that long nails might cause you to start hitting other keys by accident. If not that, then your nails are probably uncomfortably bumping into other keys. You'll probably notice this more if you're typing on flatter keyboards like the ones on the Magic Keyboard or MacBook. In fact, your fingers might be angled awkwardly, which kind of impairs your ability to type even faster. So keep your nails short. Another thing I did was to figure out what kind of keyboard works for me. I'm someone who really enjoys mechanical keyboards and spent some time figuring out what mechanical keyboard switch works best for me. I finally settled on Cherry MX Browns, which are incredibly pleasing to type on. They're just heavy enough without making keys hard to press down on, but they're not light enough for you to make mistakes by accidentally hitting other keys. In non-pandemic circumstances, I'd encourage you to go out to Best Buy or something and try typing on their display gaming keyboards, but a safer option would probably be to order switch testers online, which let you sample a bunch of key switches before committing to a keyboard. Of course, you don't need a mechanical keyboard to type fast, so here are some other tips to help you out. Another reason why I'm able to type so fast is because I've committed all the positions of each key into muscle memory, so I don't look at the keyboard. This is known as touch typing. Looking at the keyboard somehow causes me to make more mistakes because I'm so aware of which keys I'm typing on. When I type, I literally only use muscle memory gained by practice from typing. The weird thing is, if you asked me to draw out a keyboard for you and label each key with the right letter, I couldn't, maybe except for QWERTY. This is because everything I type on a keyboard comes from my muscles and I literally don't even think about it. Kind of like riding a bike or playing a piano song. If you want to practice touch typing, I do recommend you to use this website, 10fastfingers.com, because it's a typing test that asks you to type random words and soon enough, your fingers will start getting the hang of which key is where. Also type common words like the and and, as well as sentences that have every single letter of the alphabet in it. Some other people might enjoy the presence of a wrist rest to help stabilize your hands when typing, but I personally don't need one for typing because I feel like it limits the movement of my hands since my wrists are supposed to be resting on it. Still worth a try if you're curious about whether a wrist rest will help you type faster. So try some of these tips and practice, practice, practice. I'll put all the links in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.